All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lands flush with that right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Medov. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. Big kick lands. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. There's no give on that leg. Single collar tie now. And this dude's cash the chips. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Right on the button. And there comes the separation now. Oh, man, look at that. Victor perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman. Just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. 45 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Nurmagomedov. Nice punch lands. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Nice loop and punch. And they separate. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Keeps the elbow there. Gets the single collar tie. That knee might have landed there. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Under a minute now to go in the round. Big power shot there. Starting to gain some confidence here on the feet. And to that end, there's the roundhouse kick. You know he's feeling good when he's throwing those beautiful roundhouse kicks at every part of your body. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. 30 seconds to go on the left. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Round two. 
down to next. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. A little single collar tie there. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Nurmago met up and trying to further expose what surfaced tonight as an obvious weakness. Left hand punch from the clinch. Good punch, Lance. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, collar tie. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermago Meta. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh! That knee might have landed there. Oh, and there is another knee, and that has certainly been the primary weapon of choice for him here tonight. He has inflicted a ton of damage to his opponent, and a lot of it courtesy of those knees. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He, oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. All right, he'll engage That's in a single scramble right tie. there. Beautiful transition. Way to hide that leg kick. Magomedov's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Nice. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagements from this 50-50 position? Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, missed on that one. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts. But instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. That was a thuddy leg. Nice punch by Nermago Meta. All right, single so collar tie now. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Great punch. Able to check that kick as well. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Body kick now by Nermago Meta. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Head kick. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find Double leg here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take place. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter, but when he added that, is how you scramble, folks. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, that's a nice strike. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. That punch, no good. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug, and they separate. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from this clinch position. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing four more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Big body kick. Nice punch here. Oh, single collar tie here. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love Fighting chest to chest, the uglier the fight, the better. It's such a fast leg kick. Straight punch lands. Got the single collar tie. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Battling for hooks. The combination lands for him. He's really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Lunges forward with a left there. Blocks 
missed the shot. Very nice leg kick there by Nurmako Medov. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. That knee might have landed there. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, he'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. That knee might have landed there. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming, high or low. Every time he throws them, they're landing. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch lands over the top. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Head kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, he heard a bad with the jab. Back and forth we go here. Big kick land. He's, he's lifting now. Huge block there. Single collar tie now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Punch over the top. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, hook to the head by Nurmago Medov. Oh, knee to the head. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. There's no tell on that leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. What a punch. Again, they will clinch. Medov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh! Now connects with the right. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 
big punch land. Boom. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Back to the feet now. I see the collar tie now. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, single collar tie here. Great punch, landing with so much power. Just out of range with that right hook. Got the single collar tie. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Twenty seconds left. Look at the whip action that comes from just throwing that kick. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And of course, the big storyline in the previous round, those knees just up and down, really inflicted a lot of damage on him. Really driving the knee into the midsection, toe pointed down towards the mat, really throwing his entire body into every knee that he landed. And it shows, because look at his opponent. Look at his opponent's posture as we get ready for round two. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful head kick. Nice uppercut by the champion. Again, they clinch. Ooh, what a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Uppercut lands. Unbelievable. He's, He's hurt bad. by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispense. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Nice kick landed there by Nurmagomedov. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Plus right hand is true. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Beautiful. Oh, double leg right takedown is good. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nermago Medoff's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. We'll see if he can get that ground pound. Oh, he's gotta get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back 
so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Well, not good body language from his opponent here at DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. And back to his feet. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. You cannot take too many of these big elbows from the clinch. Oh, big punch land. Single collar tie now. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Beautiful kick. Nurmago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Wow. Effective punch there by Nermago Medov. Some nice back and forth action here. Takedown defense holds up. A little single collar tie there. Right hand punch to the clinch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib Habib Nurmagomedov. All right, so there he is.